Have you ever wondered how a bridge is replaced? The Bayfield River Bridge is a perfect demonstration of how projects like this get done. This bridge connecting the village of Bayfield to the marina and the northbound Blue Water Highway has reached the end of its life. A replacement has been ordered and Luby are the perfect choice for the job. The task at hand, construct a temporary bypass bridge beside the existing one so traffic is not impeded. Next, demolish the old bridge. And finally, construct a brand new steel arch bridge in its place. This is a colossal project, multiple years in the making. With the critical piling work to support the temporary bridge complete, it's time to launch the structure for the bypass. Well, we started uh, back in October and uh, we put in about 25,000 tons, I guess, of uh, granular material to build a base for the detour. We're building the uh, temporary bridge on the south side and we're going to launch it across here. The new bridge is quite a unique bridge. It's two steel arches that's going to be pretty impressive. The deck structure hangs from the arches, of course, and pretty impressive bridge for Bayfield. Luby and Ellis Don together, we're very excited about uh, doing this project and uh, hopefully it's a showpiece. As Luby pushes ahead on schedule, the temporary bypass is rolled out over the river. This went off without a hitch. There's no, no ands, ifs or buts. It was perfect. Once we get it down sitting in its final position on the bearings and secured and fixed at the south pier, we will start decking the top of it. By April, the demolition of the old bridge is already well underway. So last week we removed the bridge deck and all the overhang off the bridge and now we're down to tackling the, uh, the actual structure. So we've taken the machine down onto the barge and we're going to use the shear to cut the trusses down. Today is great, yeah, loving it. With the old structure out of the way and the work barge is removed, all the focus goes back to the construction. Primarily getting the abutments and piers built. As 2020 comes to a close, Luby Construction has made tremendous progress. By February 2021, the team is ready to lift up the two massive steel arches. Coming in at 122 tons each, this is no small operation. Luby calls in the big guns. Mammut have brought three cranes to the site. This lift will have more than enough strength to get the job done. Uh, we have up to seven or eight guys working right now. Next week we're going to be erecting the bridge with uh, assistance of uh, two 300 ton mobiles with it and two 110 mobiles. You know it's going to take over two days to uh, erect and get it uh, ready to go. It's uh, the biggest crane uh, right now currently being set up in Ontario. The whole lift's going to be communicated through radio. Everybody working with the, the weights calculated moment by moment. Each crane's going to have a certain amount of weight to a certain point until it's fully uprighted. Uh, where the LG will have full control and full weight of the arch. With all the prep work complete and everything in place, it's time for the first lift. Looks pretty good here. That keeper coming, man, looking really good. All right, Tim, I'll get you to cable up and take you up to 40,000. That looking really good, buddy, keep coming. Are we good to do the load transfer at this time? I think that's pretty good, Les Holder, there for now. Go up a little higher, Mike. Keep that tagline snug, eh? Pull it back, Tyler. That's good. Two more inches. Excellent. 
Excellent work, gentlemen. As the workers in the man basket disconnect the last crane, the first lift is complete without any complications. It went really well. The team really pulled out all the stops today to make it a safe and uh, efficient operation. Uh, once that thing got in the air, it was, it was pretty smooth lifting it over the highway. It slid right in, into place there. Uh, all the bolts seemed to be lining up well and I couldn't be happier to, to see this thing set down and, and uh, everything looks, looks great. One arch in, just one more to go. It's all looking real even. Keep cabling up, we're gonna go another six inches. Six inches, copy. Tim, we'll get you to cable up and whisk her more. Yeah, we got 445 over here. Just keep cabling up for now. I'll let you know when to start taking it on the boom. All right, coming down. Okay, hold that, Mike. We had perfect uh, weather conditions for today. Highly skilled, trained uh, operators behind every point of the lift. Non-stop uh, communication uh, with the LG, the two 110s, and the guys on the ground, and the tag guys. No, today took a lot of uh, planning, and uh, safety was always at the forefront. Uh, we're very happy with the outcome. Having a crane like this, a, a, a big 1200 like this, is just unbelievable. Seeing this thing come in, 50 plus trailer loads, and it just was pulled off like clockwork. Uh, no interruption to traffic. Uh, this thing got put together quick and, and performed flawlessly. Yeah, there's a lot of engineering that goes on with a lift like this, and uh, we're kind of relying on everybody as a team to work together and make sure that the job is safe. We've got a real good team here between Luby and Mamut, pretty much the best in the business when it comes to big lifts like this. Thanks to the assistance of Mamut, the two arches are locked into place. As they disassemble their cranes, Luby continues pushing forward. Now that it's late into 2021, Luby is pouring the concrete across the new bridge. Very soon, the work on this colossal project will finally be complete. So we're just a couple hours in now. We just filled up both deck ends and we're about eight meters into the bridge. It's a 85 meter span overall. So each machine will be doing just over 40 meters. A more traditional bridge, you'd start from one end and work your way to the other. Uh, in this case, the design needed to load the arch equally in both directions. And so that's why we're starting at either end and finishing towards the middle. There's a lot of uh, temperature variations that we have to take into account. Elongation of the cables, deflections of the arch. A little more complicated than our typical structure. We all have radios on and we have the stations placed down the length of the bridge every two meters so we can pretty quickly look over to the side, see where we're at and let each end of the bridge know. My name is Daryl Kramer. I work for Acro Corporation of America. The old bridge has been replaced with a new arch bridge and we're taking out the temporary bypass. That is actually my purpose, is to help them remove it as easily and safely as possible. It took us two and a half weeks to install it and it'll take us about two and a half weeks to remove it. Luby and you guys have made life really easy for us. They've had the equipment here, they've had the people here, the people have been real attentive. We didn't have to go back and make any corrections. Luby has been one of the better companies that I've worked with. It's been a lot of hard work to get this project done, but here we are, two arches in the air, and bridge to complete, good learning experience and put every piece together and here we are. It's a very unique bridge and 
We've had to overcome lots of obstacles. We're kind of innovative that way at Luby. Great team working on this project on site and in our office, as well as uh, other third party members. Things managed out pretty well, and uh, I'm glad how things worked out. On to the next one. Projects of this magnitude always have unforeseen circumstances. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, this project wasn't an exception. It's how these unforeseen circumstances are dealt with that set successful companies like Luby apart. Any issues that arose got attended to safely and effectively, leaving this area a beautiful bridge that will service the community for decades to come.